Hey guys, how the frig's it going today? It's half day freaking Friday! Hey, just got home from work. Actually, after work, I found a deal that I already lost. Anyway, I've been wanting a set of Bluetooth headphones because when I'm on live chat at work, I'm not wearing the headset for my phone and I got a frog in my throat, so it's making my voice sound weird. I was browsing the flyers and I came across Staples who had some Skull Candy headphones on. Regular $70 on for $40 or $69.99 on for $39.99. So I bought some. Yeah, finally moving up in the world and getting off the cable. I feel so proud of myself right now growing up so fast anyway let's go ahead and crack into these and see what's in the back they got this thing on the bottom that you're supposed to pull off and i ripped the friggin tab clean off of it try harder oh, oh my god this is horrible with a capital whore okay i'm about to go friggin nuts on this box wow this is like the worst where's my knife okay you know what all else fails violence guess what i don't think that's how you're supposed to open it maybe i should read next time it actually says pull here i'm gonna fight with it Grr! Work out on its own just to get the friggin' box open. All right, so what do you get in the box? You get a piece of plastic. You get decent looking headphones. These are decent looking. Holy. Let's see which one's left and which one's right. See any marking. Definitely goes on like this. Definitely doesn't fit my big fat head. Oh yeah, these are beaut. Sweet. It's got controls on it apparently somewhere. I don't know. I don't see no buttons. Oh, there they are. So you got your power and your plus and minus. I'm assuming if you tap them, it's volume. If you hold them, it'll change the track. So that's kind of neat. You got USB charging right in the bottom, which is very neat. Very, very nice. Very nice. 10 out of 10 would wear again. Okay. And what else is in back? So you get another piece of plastic. Sweet. And an USBA cable, as well as the Skull Candy Uproar instruction manual ain't that special very basic packaging not really much of an unboxing and that's my video for today no i'm kidding guys so i just want to make sure volume of volume down main usb there's a microphone on this can i control my house with it can i be all like sub g turn off everything turn on everything here's the global warranty Honestly, if I get a year out of them, they paid for themselves. I hate that term. They paid for themselves. How'd they pay for themselves? They're freaking headphones. It's not like they're out working and making me money or anything. All right, the instructions are in Chinese. Power on, press and hold the MFB until the LED flashes. What is MFB? Main button? Pairing. While powered off, hold MFB until LED alternates flashing blue red. So you press it once, it pauses and plays. Volume up, press the volume up button. So next track is you press and hold the volume up button. Okay, so I was right. They're just like my, uh, I have another set that are corded with controls on it. And it's the exact same setup. So it's probably just OS standard versus anything. I'm going to plug these bad boys in and give them a charge. It's going to use them while mowing the lawn, but because that needs to be done. Because guys, this whole week... It's been raining. Yes, this whole week's been nothing but freaking rain. So my backyard right now looks like a tropical jungle. There's shit everywhere. Good times. So we're currently sitting at 7,200 steps on the day. I figure we're gonna hit our 10K, no problemo. Should be great. I wanna get out there and mow the lawn, but I want my headset to be charged. I wanna use them while mowing the lawn to see if they're any good for that, basically. But something else I'm gonna be doing <clears throat> There's a video coming up that's going to be titled Seven Days of Way. And basically, I mentioned this challenge a while ago on the channel where I'm going to be doing nothing but consuming whey protein powder for seven days straight. And it's probably going to be three to four shakes a day. So that's going to be anywhere from, oh, that was gross, uh, 100 and, well, it's 40 grams per shake. So three shakes would be 120 grams of protein, four would be 160. But I needed some freaking protein because my big tub of this stuff, this uh, grass-fed non-GMO stuff, <coughs> is starting to run out. So I went to the GNC and bought a bucket of protein powder. Guys, this stuff here is ridiculous. Apparently it's cinnamon toast crunch flavor. Never tried this. So it's GNC's house brand, Pro Performance, Whey Isolate, 40 grams of protein per serving, 180 calories per serving, 30, uh, 3 grams of carbs, and 0.5 grams of fat. So I'm definitely not going to be on keto for these seven days. Friggin' cinnamon toast crunch flavored. Uh, 40 grams of protein. Let's see if they got the uh, nutrition facts on here. Here we go. Okay, well, it's got one gram of fiber, so that negates one of the carbs. Duh, oh, here we go. There's a bunch of shit on the top here. So 180 per calorie, calories. 40 grams of protein, 3 grams of carbs. 
five, some cholesterols, some sodiums. I'm not seeing a nutritional sheet on here anywhere. This is probably the same shit, but in French or not. So it's two scoops for a serving, 250 ml of water. I'm gonna start this here tomorrow. Right now, like I said, it's Friday. So I'm gonna start it tomorrow because I still have some food that I need to destroy before it goes bad. Got some, I uh, got a log of beef in the fridge, uh, some sausages. Lately, this, this week actually, guys, I was doing the $25 challenge again, but I didn't film it. I literally went to the grocery stores and bought a pack of those logs of beef, some sausages, uh, some broccoli and cauliflower. I didn't do the cheese though. I just ate those for the week and I had them every night after my workout. That was my one meal a day all week. I got to thinking, you know, so I was chatting with some people about it and they're like, would you eat all that in one sitting? I'm like, yeah, 454 grams of beef, or well, turkey, ground turkey, uh, three sausages, chopped up and blasted in the air fryer. Oh, and I've been throwing eggs. I've been having uh, four eggs too, scrambled, added to the mix with the uh, broccoli cauli mix. And they're like, why don't you break it up? Why don't you have the sausages for breakfast and then skip lunch if you want and then have your supper and go from there. And every time you eat, you spike your insulin. I've talked about this before. Every time you consume food, you spike your insulin. Every time your insulin spikes, you get pulled out of fat burn mode. If your objective is to burn fat and get your fat levels down to a healthy limit you don't want to be spiking that insulin all day long you want to basically take advantage of fat burn times and burn as much off as you possibly can so by doing one meal a day this is where that comes in because all day your body is in a fat burn state because you're out of carbohydrates to roast so you have no choice but to resort to the next level your fat because the meal I'm eating has no carbohydrates, you remain in fat burn mode. So your body's now burning all the nutrition that you brought in, and then it goes back to using your old stores. Pretty freaking sweet, I do say so myself. Like with all my gear on, I'm coming in at 214. This basically means I'm coming in at 211, 212. Uh, what I've been doing though, so I've been kind of, when I get down to 209, I've been kind of cheating. Like I go out and buy like fried chicken from Sobeys or from Independent, kind of destroy it, uh, like 20 wings. And it's kind of bad because those 20 wings are like 1800 calories or they're up there like 16, 1800 calories. It's pretty brutal. Probably shouldn't be doing that, but I get the weight back up and then I let her taper back down and then I get her back up and I let her taper back down. But it's not like a great jump. I'll let it get down to 208, and then I'll get it back up to 215, and then back down to 208, and then back up to 215. But from everybody I've seen on YouTube who've done the uh, all day whey challenge where all day all you do is drink whey water uh people are mixing in lemon juice as a detoxifier some people are doing the apple cider vinegar which i'm gonna do some people are having coffee some people are using pre-workout shakes i still plan on using the creatine because guys let me tell you creatine i used to be against it because i thought it just all it did was made your body retain muscles or uh, sorry made your body retain water and just made your muscles look bigger until I read the scientific facts behind it that it actually helps the muscle fibers grow versus just inflating them like a balloon that gradually will just deflate. You know, you will get bigger muscles, your body will look fuller. Over time, being off creatine when the cycles are done and it runs out of your body, your muscles will shrink. But when your muscles do shrink, they'll be larger than they were before you started the creatine cycle because you're making room for those fibers to actually grow and thicken out so that they can basically take more friggin' brunt. So that's pretty good. So I've been really enjoying the creatine and hell, it's cheap. You can like, I bought this big tub of creatine. I'll show you that it's actually creatine. Creatine for piss, it was, it was dirt cheap. And it's got amino acids in it too, like uh, BCAAs, branch chain amino acid, which help with muscle recovery after a workout. So you don't wake up the next day feeling like friggin' went 10 rounds with Mike Tyson. So that's pretty sweet too. And it's cheap. I think, I think that cost me like $24 for the huge tub and that's like 60 servings. So 24 bucks for two month supply is pretty friggin' hot. I do say so myself. And of course I got some creatine on the side. Now, there is a company that reached out to me after I, they seen my, uh, my one video there uh, after a year. I don't know how the hell they watched that video, but uh, they saw the changes I made in the diet and it was uh, some guy named Johnny reached out to me on uh, the Northern Life webpage and basically said, hey, I'm uh, a rep from a company, uh, Muscle Tech, and we're interested in uh, doing a little thing with you. We got some products we want you to try. 
and make a video on them. Well, I'm all for, you know, these types of videos. Like, yeah, sure, okay. I said, number one, are they legal? And number two, are they safe? That's my only concern is I don't want to be like friggin' injecting juice and getting all jacked. Like, I want to do this here naturally. I don't mind some supplements, like creatine's a great supplement, dirt cheap too. And I don't mind the BCAAs because, hell, they're pretty cheap too. They make it so you can work out every freaking day, which is a godsend for people who want to give her every freaking day. So they sent me a package in the mail. One of the things they sent me is this stuff, some more creatine. So I just bought a tub of creatine and then this shows up in the freaking mail. I'm like, great, because they didn't tell me what they were sending me. So this is 400 grams of unflavored uh, creatine, five grams per serving. And then the other ones I have upstairs, I haven't cracked into that creatine yet. It's creatine, creatine's creatine. I don't think there's any benefits except for that one that I have in there that has BCAAs in it. Um, the other ones I have up here, which are kind of interesting, uh, one of them is called Muscle Builder, which basically is 400 milligrams of patented muscle builder. And I read that when I opened this up and went, okay, what the hell does that even mean? So then I flipped it over and looked and it's literally 400 milligrams of peak ATP. And I can't even pronounce it. It's like adenosine triphosphate disodium salt. So I went online and I looked up what the heck ATP is. ATP is something your body produces to basically trigger growth of muscles. All this is doing is putting extra of that shit in your body to make your muscles grow that much more after an intense workout. So you pop one of these bad boys 30 minutes prior to your workout if you're not planning on working out that day, pop them with your breakfast and it'll help grow your muscles while you're not working out or repair them. Uh, this stuff, I don't know if it works. It's like subject built, uh, subjects built, subjects built 8.8 .8 pounds of muscle. So they're saying that this here, if you go through a cycle of this shit, you'll build 8.8 .8 pounds of muscle. Now I can confirm that by doing, by using these, I do feel a lot more ramped in the gym. Like I haven't been doing a pre-workout lately. My pre-workout has been literally a coffee with cocoa to give me a little bit more go-go. Uh, some cinnamon to keep the blood sugar from spiking. Uh, what else do I add in there? A little bit of maca just to get that juice of energy. Uh, some coconut oil just to give me a little bit more energy in the gym. And I do believe, oh and some creatine because why not? Because it's awesome in coffee. That's been my pre-workout. I, I drink that with one of these, these pills here. And the other thing they sent me was this. It's called Alpha Test, okay? It's supposed to be a testosterone support, not a booster, a support. So I was like, okay, so it's got 480 milligrams of zinc and magnesium. Now, zinc, magnesium, and there's another ingredient. I can't remember. Oh yeah, D, vitamin D3. That there is the chemical makeup for boosting testosterone naturally. You can go to your like Walmart or PharmaSave or whatever the hell you have in your place and you can buy some D3 or stand in the sun for a bit. Uh, you can get some D3, some zinc, some magnesium. Take those, boost testosterone. What this has in it though, which is kind of crazy, is it has this, this compound called tribulus. Never heard of it. I'm like, what the heck is tribulus? So I looked it up on uh, Reddit because I was looking at the fitness stuff and people were claiming tribulus is a testosterone boost. I'm like, that doesn't make sense. So I looked it up further and I found out tribulus and maca go hand in hand. Tribulus is a hormone balancer, i.e. testosterone support. It's also a way to cure a non-functioning libido. Okay, so I've been taking the daily dose is three of these bad boys before your workout, or if you're not working out that day, take one in the morning, one in the afternoon, one in the evening as a all day. These things get you right ramp. Your body will tingle with energy. You will not be able to sit down and stay still. You will want to get up and do something. And if you have an old lady, it's your old lady you will want to do. These are off the charts. Don't think it's a testosterone booster and ain't gonna turn you into the Incredible Hulk unless you're old lady and you plan on going to lay down in bed. So I told them I'd give it a rip and I would talk about, I just talked about them now. So that's from a uh, company, Muscle Tech. Uh, I seen these guys here sell stuff out at our local Walmart. So I know our local Walmart carries this brand, Muscle Tech. I don't know if they carry this exact product. I did see the Muscle Builder there. 
and they carry the creatine and they got some whey proteins there too um but yeah that's what this is so today would be day three of me actually taking these i haven't taken them yet i haven't done a workout yet i don't know if i'm gonna do a workout today i might skip a day that's a thing might just not bother and uh, just go outside and do some yard stuff uh, basically what I need to do in the yard is we got to mow the lawn and those freaking raspberry bushes are definitely coming back with a vengeance. Normally I just run the mower over them and knock them down, but they just keep coming back. So what I'm thinking I might do this time is grab the wheelbarrow because I haven't dropped it off at dad's house, which reminds me I need to do that because he needs it this coming week to do some work at his house or my brother's house, one of the two, can't remember. And then once that's all said and done, I'm going to basically grab, the, pull the friggin' things, put them in the wheelbarrow and dump them in the back 40. Um, you guys probably think I'm making a mess back there, but that's the battle plan. Put all the crap back there, let it decompose, then build a mud wall. Better than anything Trump could build. All right, got my new headphones on. I look like an idiot. It's okay. Gonna go outside and mow some lawn. See if I can actually hear my music over the sound of that six and a half horse. Just friggin' giving her. It's pitter patter. Got my size 40s on. Uh, by that I mean my old jeans. Key reason is uh, if I decide to weed whack, which chances are I will because stuff on the side of the house over here is getting pretty tall. I'd rather wreck jeans I don't care about than wreck jeans that I do care about. Because caring is sharing. I should grab my sunglasses. It's freaking bright out here. Kid you not, today is the first day we had sun. But I do gotta say, at least it was on the weekend. So as you can see, I didn't spray over here because, well I sprayed over here, but I didn't spray back here because of the dog. But all over here where I did spray, I didn't spray that good, that's the problem. <sighs> I don't know what the hell these things are, but they're definitely a weed. I got no grass in this yard. But you can see all this shit's growing back, eh? So what I was thinking about doing was grabbing the wheelbarrow and putting on my gardening gloves and coming over here and just grip and pull, rip them up, get them at the roots, and then going from there. And those aren't even the same as these. That's a raspberry bush, but I don't know what the hell these are. The leaves are different. Is this thing farting seeds? Probably. Yeah, it's got those damn helicopters on it. Stupid freaking helicopters. All right, anyway. Just thought I'd show you what I'm up against. I'm not gonna film the lawn mowing. I'm just gonna get her did. So let's go off into the garage. I haven't done anything in the garage all week, guys. Just been kind of enjoying the whole Going to work, coming home, working out, you know, life. Life outside of being productive. All right, let's go ahead and move this barbecue over a bit. Get this thing open. I might need to gas up the lawnmower. So I'm gonna go and get this job done and then we'll check in in a bit. All right, just did the, uh, well, just got done weed whacking. Cleaned up all around the house. All around the front here, all around the water shut off valve thing. Wood's gone. Forgot to mention that. Rex picked that up the other night. Started weed whacking here, but got to buy more. Well, no, I got more rope. I could, whatever. Anyway, cleaned up all this. Cleaned up over here around the fence, but I haven't done anything here yet. And here's my reasoning. I can't push the mower through here because there's some big branches. There's some big branches over there including I think that's a brick or a piece of 4x4 four four. not sure big branches here huge boulder there bunch of shit here what I'm thinking I might do right now is grab my heavy heavy duty rake and just start raking all this down you know it's only four o'clock I don't plan on eating for another hour let's really work up a sweat so that's what I plan on doing. I'm gonna move some some stuff. All right, I'll chime back in after. Sorry for all the wind noise, guys. All right. Besides the drama going across the street, we made a little bit of headway over here. So, clean up all the bramble and big things from over here. That way, there we can just hit it with the mower and not stall it on half a tree. Rake this and turn it all over so. It'll hopefully rot a little quicker. 
Judging by those clouds, we're going to see more rain, that's a given. And then I cleaned up as many sticks and twigs and I was just getting sick and tired of running over them with a the lawnmower. So, who? Huh? You got some food? You got some food? I think he's got some food. So by mowing the lawn, I made it easier for, I guess this is a robin, I don't know, the birds to fetch some dinner. Buffet's open, Shea had them. Anyway, I'm covered in grass. Freaking weed whacking, man. They put a guard on it. I don't know why. Guard doesn't do anything. I guess it keeps the rope from hitting you in the leg, but in all honesty, shit flies everywhere when you weed whack. Alright, let's go in the house. Alright, well, I'm gonna make myself a protein shake, and I figure. Let's try one of these things. So, I already ripped the thing off the bucket top, and I just gotta take the lid off. Holy crap, that's a lot. Okay, now I gotta find the friggin' scoop. That should be fun. Alright, two scoops of cinnamon toast crunch coming right up. I really need to find a better place to put this, but let's get some water in this guy and down the hatch. Oh, and these headphones? Dude, they're fantastic. Literally every day after my workout, I pound one of these and then cook my meal. So, well, not one of these, one of the other kind. I was just really eager to try this flavor out because, like, Cinnamon Toast Crunch was kind of a staple cereal for me as a kid. Between that, the good, good whole wheat shreddies and the Frosted Flakes, I now know why I got so fat. Anyway, bitter powder, let's have at her down the friggin' hatch. Holy shit, that's fantastic. All right, I'm gonna do myself a favor, get out of these clothes, get into the shower, clean all that splatter off of me from the splatter, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, people, I had a shower, I ate my food, good. Now I'm making a coffee, because tonight we're gonna go out and play pool. Even though I'm super tired, super freaking tired. So I'm making a coffee. So I'm not sure how many of you guys out there are aware, but Canada gets pretty friggin' Stoved with crappy deals on cellular service and data. You know, other countries, it's like you pay X amount of dollars and an unlimited plan is unlimited. You can just use it. Data doesn't matter. Cell call time doesn't matter. Text messages doesn't matter. Just use it. You pay a monthly fee, you get the service. No problem. Well, the other day, Rogers finally did something cool. They finally made a true unlimited type of service that you can subscribe to. $75 a month gets you unlimited calling, texting, voicemail, and data with a catch. The catch is you have 10 gigs of fast data on the LTE network, soon to be 5G network or whatever, if that ever happens. We'll just say it will happen and hopefully we're correct. But you get 10 gigs of data and then after you exceed the 10 gigs, they drop you down to 3G speeds. Now, they're saying that's about 400 kilobits a second, which, I don't know, man, 40 kilobytes a second is not too bad. Actually, it'd be a little bit faster than that. It'd be about 50 kilobytes a second, because, you know, one bit, it takes uh, eight bits to make one byte, and a bit of a byte is a nibble. Anyway, enough of that nonsense. So, as a rebuttal, Bell decides to launch the exact same plan. And this is available on new devices, returning customers, bring your own devices, whatever. Obviously, if you buy a new device, it won't be 75 bucks. They're gonna tag a premium onto it to cover the cost of the device. So, now we got Bell and Rogers playing against each other. Telus decides to come out of the friggin' woodworks and they go, well, we're gonna one-up you guys. 75 bucks a month, unlimited calling, Unlimited texting, unlimited voicemail, and 15 gigs of data. Not unlimited. 15 gigs of data. 75 bucks a month. Why couldn't they just make the same damn plan? Mind you, 15 gigs of data is a lot. Now, I don't know if 50 kilobytes a second is enough to watch a YouTube video. Uh, I stream it to your phone. So, I just want to go and check that. So, they say for 360p to 480p, you need a speed minimum of 1 megabit a second. So, 400 kilobits, you're going to be buffering a while. Not saying I want to start watching videos on this tiny little screen. Just saying having the option there when you're... Well, I don't really go to Horton's, but... Let's say I accidentally go to Horton's and I'm sitting with a friend and I'm like, oh man, have you seen that awesome video or this new movie trailer? I can just pull it up on my phone and show them and not worry about the fact that my data is getting destroyed. Of course, Tim Horton's has Wi-Fi, but you should never connect to public Wi-Fi unless you have a VPN, people. But I do think it's kind of cool that all these companies are coming out of the woodworks with these data options. It shows that like 
they're trying to progress probably because they have to because there's a lot of government agencies turning on these communication companies saying how come we're classified as a first world country with third world data like when you have some third world countries out there with data plans that are unlimited and then we're still stooging people charging them 105 dollars a month for two gigs of data figure it out right i don't know it is what it is so i might change my plan i might pick that up because it'll still be cheaper than what i'm paying now and i'll have a lot more data and that would be pretty friggin' sweet because well who the hell doesn't want unlimited data right but anyway people i'm gonna shut it down here like i said we're gonna go play some pool i'm gonna get this here video all edited up and deploy it right away so uh another thing i wanted to talk about was my garage door a lot of comments adam you should paint it paint your garage door oh my god the paint in your garage door is bad so on and so forth tomorrow it's gonna piss rain all day so that's out but i was thinking sunday uh depending on what the weather is gonna be monday tuesday wednesday i don't know how long it's gonna take to dry i was gonna go and buy a can of paint and paint it but what color should i paint it let me know in the comments below seeing how this is going up right away and then we'll figure that out so anyway people thanks for watching like favorite comment don't forget to subscribe and until next time peace the frig out sit stupid sit good dog